Good morning, this is Shruti from PTE Tutorials uh, Osses Group. I'm your PTE coach. So let's start with the one another mock that is mini mock of reading section. In this mock, you will be getting reading writing fill ups, reorder paragraphs, and uh, re reading fill in the blanks. I'm going to show you the screen. Best of luck. If you have any queries regarding reading module, you can ask in the end of the webinar. So best of luck, get ready. Multiple fill in the blanks. For one question, one blank, you'll be having multiple options. You have to select one. This particular question type carries reading and writing scores and is an integrated task. So please be careful. Keep jotting down your answers on your copy and in the end we'll show you the screen uh, with the answers. You can just match them. Check the answers. First answer is forcing, rising, caused, taking, and measure. Next question.
check your answers now. First one is widespread, adverse, respond, taxation. Third question. Check your answers now. First one is awareness, second founded, third focused, fourth is launched. Fifth one was coordinated. Next question. Check your answers now. First one was associated, second originated, third contradicted, fourth one was artificial. Next is your reorder paragraphs. Very first reorder paragraph. Giving you full fledged two minutes. You have to arrange them the order. Make sure you are making more number of correct pairs.
check the correct order it is one four two five three kindly write it down so that you can another time you can just uh, match it whether you were correct or not one four two five three next three are the paragraph question two minutes start Check the answer. Two minutes are gone. Two, four, one, three, five. I'm repeating. Two, four, one, three, five. Next question will be your reading. Fill in the blanks. You have to choose the options from these options, which are listed in the end of the paragraph. Just write down your A, B, C, D, E. Giving you again two minutes to solve it.
check the answers. A, tenth, B, general, C, proportion, D, contrasted, E, acceptance. Next question. Two minutes starts. Check your answers. A bit easy on this one. Eh? First one is bridge. B option is emphasis. C collage. D reimagined. E forerunners. Next question. Time starts now.
time is up. Check your next question's answer. First one is mechanisms. Second, characteristics. C, bound. D, binding. E, body. F, subject. G, is deemed. Next question. Time starts now. Check your answer. First options A's answer is derision, then B, antagonistic, C, confiscation, D is dwindling, E is paucity. This was about your many mock reading part two if you have any queries you can ask how much scores you people got and how many were correct in reading writing phillips give one mark for each correct answer very good shake sir you got 70 percent correct Make it sure that you are marking your reading, writing fill-ups at least 90% correct because it will boost up your read, writing score. It No doubt it, is, uh, it will definitely increase your reading score, but it has more weight for your writing module. Deepa is saying 95% of my answers were wrong. I feel really demotivated. Oh, I'm so sorry, Deepa. I would suggest you to take proper coaching for this. You can just contact PT Tutorials for online coaching if you want to take, because you must be aware about the strategies. It wasn't that was a difficult question, except the last one. A little bit vocabulary was high, and the last question of reading fill in, fill in the blanks, rest were all and very um, easy ones. You can easily crack them. You just need to go through with the strategies. Do watch the webinars of uh, reading, writing, fill-ups, and role of grammar. That would also help you to uh, get them, find them correct. Sheikh is asking, I got 72. Others were 
All good. Okay, Sheikh. That's good. Very good, Deepa. See, whenever we are thinking now, we are not at all good for uh, uh, any kind of task. Immediately, we should take help. And uh, good tutors will be the best source through which you can improve your scores. Sirisha is asking, I got reorder paragraphs. First is full correct, and another is too correct. OK, it means first one, four pairs were there, four out of four. Second, uh, two out of four. That's not at all a bad one. A little bit more uh, work on reorder paragraphs. I would suggest to you to watch the webinar on reorder paragraphs. You all should be subscribing PT Tutorials YouTube channel. Then you can get the video for each and every webinar and the updations also. Harvinder is saying 50% blanks were correct. Harvinder, go for coaching then. It means you are lacking in your, the strategies. Reading, writing, fill-ups is the most important part of your writing. Hmm. Sheikh is asking, ma'am, for reading 90, what are the most important aspects? Definitely, sure, I'll tell you. See, Sheikh, when you want to get your good score in uh, reading section, uh, at that time, number one, your reading fill-ups, both the types of fill-ups, these will be the correct ones. You can do one or two mistakes, but that is okay. But at least 95%, those should be the correct one. But you may do mistakes in reading fill in the blanks. You're not supposed to do mistakes in uh, reading, writing fill in the blanks because their weight is more as compared to your reading fill in the blanks. Then second, you need to uh, be so good in your pronunciation because in read alouds, you are again getting lots of marks for your reading module. If your pronunciation will be good only, then you will be getting the score, good score for your uh, reading module from read aloud. And third one is your summarized written text. It's really, very, really, very really important. We actually in summarized written text, I have seen people, they just focus on writing area. They forget this thing that I'm also getting the score of reading from summarized written text. Finding the correct, important, and required keywords from the given text is really very, very important. We put more focus on essays. Essay is one task. It is not an integrated one. And summarized written text is an integrated task. You just focus more and more on where to put comma, where to put semicolon, how to join the sentences. I'm unable to join, um, to frame the uh, combination of um, these uh, combined sentences. See, you can just frame a sentence in a, in a very easy way. Is it mentioned somewhere that if you will be framing in uh, summarized written text, a very difficult structure, only then the software will be giving you the score for that. They just need the summary. If you will be writing in a very simple way, again, you will be getting the score. Why to do such things in your writing part if you are thinking that if I'll be framing uh, a very difficult sentence, Sentence structure is a little bit difficult one. Only then the software will give me the best score. Then it is a wrong assumption. Know where it is mentioned. And just imagine, whosoever has made the software, has that person added this thing in the software? If a person will be framing difficult to difficult sentence, sentence structure is very difficult. Only then give that person the best score. I cannot imagine this thing that this would be there in the software. So just frame your sentence in a good structure. Good means it should be an easy one. Put comma and write and and is the best conjunction. You're not supposed to even write any other uh, conjunction or connector. If you will be thinking in that way, definitely you are going to frame your sentence in the wrong structure because then your focus will be on 
if I'm writing moreover, will that suit there or not? If I'm writing however, will that suit there or not? There must be one usage of moreover, however. Only there you will be able to write that word, write that connector. That software knows that where to put however. But if to if I'm not uh, good and say the usage of connectors, forget about this, just to use the simple one and and is the best conjunction. Just imagine if I say um, these are the prawns of this particular thing. Do I need to frame my sentence next sentence in this way only? But it has these many cons also. I can also frame the same sentence in this way. This has so many prawns and cons. See, in the previous one, I used but because cons is just the opposite of the pros. That's why I knew this thing. So I wrote there, I spoke there, but. But I can also frame the same sentence by using and. Right now, it is a simple one. That's why I'm able to use and as well as but. But just imagine in your paper, um, you get some difficult words. There is one summarized written text, very famous, Malaysia one. In that Malaysia one summarized written text, um, it's really very uh, complicated one because there are so many nouns are there and their adjectives are also present in the text. So it becomes a bit difficult for you to which particular noun to take and which to uh, skip the, there. So in that case, what would happen? Suppose you have collected all the important required nouns and in that particular um, summarized written text, it's summary, you're writing however. Because you have thought that using the connector will give me the good score. Just imagine if I'll be using con however connector, actually in that particular Malaysia one summarized written text, there is no such sentence. There can be no such sentence that I can be using however. Because it's all and all talking about so many things, so many tourist places of Malaysia. No negative talk is there. It means you should go through with the um, meaning of the content which is written in the text. Only then try to frame the sentence with however. So the best thing will be why to get trapped in so many weird things as I have very less time. And just imagine if you get four summarized written texts and chances are there, 70, 80% chances are there. So focus on reading as well. Sheikh, I hope you got my answer. Sirisha is asking if I be each question three are correct out of five. Sirisha, if you are targeting 65, then it's a bit fine. But if you are targeting 79, I don't think so. Please take coaching. It's really very recommended in your case then. It means you are just putting, making a guess and out of, um, for that guess, three are correct out of five. Strategies are less. Krishna is saying 40% answers are correct, struggling with reading section. Why don't you are waste, uh, you are actually wasting your time? Go for coaching. I seriously go for one to one coaching if you are only struggling in reading section. If you are struggling in more than uh, one uh, this uh, module, then go for group coaching. See Krishna, as you are asking for improving, I always say this thing, listening and reading. These are two such modules which actually needs your presence of mind, which actually needs your understanding ability. If my mind is able to capture the things in audio, is able to capture the things from the text written on the screen, only then I will be able to find almost each and every blank correct. And then how it would improve if you are aware of the strategies for reading section, for listening, again, 
listening power, your ability, your cognitive ab ability, plus your bulk practice gives you so good score in reading and writing. You people won't believe uh, my coaching students, they are aware of this thing. When I was appearing for this paper, I was on the last question of reading section that was reading MCQ single answer. And I was left with 11 minutes and my reading score is 86. Because you should be aware of people generally ask this thing, okay, how much time I should uh, spend for uh, reading, fill ups, reading, writing, blanks, reorder. My answer is always, I never ever bother about time. I bother about my strategies. If your strategies are clear now, you can just finish one question in 30 seconds even. You just need to put the blanks there, that's it. And how it would be working? Just if you are working on the right strategies, the right guidance you have. So please, if you are suffering with any of the section, I would just say this thing, go for coaching. It's recommended in your case. Why to waste the time? And one more thing, if you are thinking that na, uh, repeated material would be helping me the best way, you may get one or two questions repeated. But see, repeated stuff will be helping you, not 70 to 80 percent. And I cannot fully rely on repeated questions. And one more thing, some people are, um, they have so much stuff because content is so much in this uh, practice material is so much in Pearson exam. But still, if you don't have that ability that how to work on that material, then it is just vain, seriously. So go for coaching, grab the correct strategies, implement them, give the scored marks and then get your score. Sumit is asking, Krishna, I cannot, this is a um, webinar, I cannot unmute anyone. So you have to write your query here in uh, the chat box and the question box. Sumit is asking, please let me know how to improve in this section. Just I said now. Vaghasia is saying 12 correct and uh, right from the uh, in reading filler, reading writing FIB. Three pairs correct in ROP, 13 correct in RFIB. If in reading writing blanks, there were 12 correct. Four questions were there. Just imagine if I have taken four blanks in each, but it was more than four. Huh? You are actually lacking in reading then, Hardik. Just work on your strategies, Hardik. Kalyan is asking strategy for reorder paragraphs. Definitely go and watch reorder paragraphs uh, webinar. It will help you the best. Lalit is asking reading, writing, uh, FIB, 10 correct, only 10 correct and eight wrong. Okay. Um, it means 50% are correct. Reading FIB got six correct, 16 wrong. My goodness. Arrow para two pairs in first and second round. Okay. Lalit, just take coaching. Do not waste a single day even, I would say. Sudhir is asking, what is the preferable word count for summarized written text? See, Sudhir, for summarized written text, I would first be framing, first I would be taking my keywords. After that, we'll start framing my summary. And after that, I will check whether my word count is increasing the word limit of 60. Then I would be deleting one, two words. 
If it is 62, delete two words, unnecessary words. Uh, if you delete them, you can just actually, uh, you can uh, manage with the rest of the words. But do not write 70, 75 words. No doubt you are accessible to write actually five to 75 words because the more you will be writing in that case, error can be there. And if error will be there, then what's the use to write 70, 75 words? Better write less and get it correct. Maximum to maximum, you can write 60 words. Do not cross 60. And one more thing, Lalit, uh, it depends upon uh, the word limit, word number of words present in the text. If the text is smaller one, definitely you will be writing, you'll be first finding less keywords, then definitely you will be writing less words in your summary. Lalit, uh, you are again asking the method to get our uh, reading FIB all correct. Listen to me carefully. There are basically three strategies to get your each and every reading plan correct. Even some cases when you are not aware of the meaning of some of the words and the options. Number one, your grammar. Grammar is the biggest savior. Just to watch the webinar uh, on role of grammar. It was two, three weeks back. I just uh, explained the things for grammar. Second is collocations. Check how to use the collocations in your reading blanks and how actually collocations would help me in reading Phillips. Though collocations is the part of your grammar, but I have separated it because its usage is completely different. Number three, understanding of the paragraph. If these three are there, you can easily crack your exam. And for these, in detail, if you want to know about the things, just take coaching. Sarisha is asking, can we use same sentence that which given in SWT? Not exactly the same one. You should be framing in some other words, but you need to take the keywords from the text itself. Never ever do this thing. You read the paragraph or paragraphs and summarize written text after that you were uh, started writing your, uh, you just started writing your sentence and then your meaning is the same one, but you have written it in your own words. Crux is the same, but the me words you have chosen from your own. Put a big cross on this in that case, you will be getting total zero score because you haven't used the keywords from the text. Content would be zero in that case. And if the content is zero, your total score for that particular question will be zero. So make sure you are writing by using the keywords which are given in the text and then frame your sentence. Verma is asking, um, can I add to, words which were not given in no this is what just i said you are not supposed to add maximum to maximum words from your site no then in that case you are software will not be finding your um, keywords and if keywords will not be there how would you get the score for reading Sheikh is asking, uh, agree ma'am, so reading 90, reading Phillips, pronunciation, summarize written text, reorder paragraphs. Yes. Vikas is asking, if I write 40 words in writing summary, is it sufficient for full marks? Yes, it is sufficient. Sairam is asking backspace issue. Press backspace as many as times as you want. There is no such myth. Sirisha, predictions will be helpful in the very last week of your preparation because it will help you to capture the words, how to pronounce them, 
if one audio is very weird one but you are aware of some of the words of it then you can easily get those words and jot down on your notepad and then can you easily use them in your speech in your writing See, Suresha, as you are asking, you can expect uh, repeated questions in the exam. I cannot fully rely on it. It's on my luck. Some people do not get a single question from the repeated stuff. Some get 50%, some get uh, 70%, some get 20%. So it's completely on your luck. So this was all for today's lecture, today's webinar. Get ready for next webinar. It will be based on speaking section. Thank you so much for joining the session. Rest of your queries, everything can be solved in PT Tutorials Telegram group. If you are not there, just join it through pdtutorials.com website and uh, get all the predictions, all the materials free and get teacher, tutors, um, Tutors write guidance, and uh, if you are still lacking, go for coaching. Take care. Bye-bye.